welcome everyone to our BCOM UCC webinar focusing on program adaptability to the modern business world. My name is Rose Murphy, co-director of the BCOM here in UCC, and we all hope you enjoyed our recent virtual BCOM convention consisting of three webinars interviewing academics, professionals, and of course, most importantly, our fantastic students. Our current economy is ever-changing and demands flexible, commercially astute graduates who have an awareness of contemporary business issues which could influence firms' profitability and overall survival. Our globally recognized BCOM CK201 program provides a broad yet specialized business knowledge via our academic modules and personal and professional enhancement through its developmental spine. Today, I would just like to focus on one of these developmental core modules as an example, BU 2001, provided in BCOM 2. And in particular, one assignment in that module, which students engaged with this year, reflecting the CSR issue, the corporate social responsibility issue that companies are currently incorporating into their business strategies. This issue was explored and practiced via organizing charity fundraising events and over 36,000 was raised by the class as a whole for many good causes. Today, I'm delighted to be joined by Dr. Mabel Sullivan, module lecturer, Gillian Casey, a current BCOM2 student who engaged with this project, Claire Tatart, a representative from UNICEF, and Laura Devereaux, a BCOM graduate of ours and currently a HR specialist with WiseTech. So thank you all for coming here today to talk with us about our BCOM program here in UCC. Our viewers might think it's National BCOM Women's Day. However, just for information, we do have approximately a 50-50 split between the genders in our student base. So Maeve, if you wouldn't mind, could I start with yourself? Yourself and Dr. Lawrence Dooley, who is the co-director of the BCOM program, put a lot of effort into devising this module and in particular, this assignment. Would you mind telling us a little about the objective and details of the assignment, please? Certainly, Rose, and I'm delighted to speak to you today. So BU 2001, uh, it was the placement skills and professional practice uh, module. Um, ultimately, uh, the goal of, of this particular element of the module um, was to develop a student's professional competence through experiential learning in order to raise social awareness uh, and to develop complex professional skills such as analytical thinking, problem diagnosis, solution generation framed within best practice, teamwork, communication skills, and to articulate a rationale for decisions in an industry context. So in, in, in essence, this assignment was an applied case study project, which requires students to assume the role of a project team member to design, plan, and execute a, a fundraising event or events for a designated charity or NGO, uh, which was aligned with the NGO's mission and goals. So as you've already mentioned, Rose, corporate social responsibility, you know, ultimately seeks to add some value to the organization's activities and by ensuring they have a positive impact on society, on the environment and on the economy, as well as the company's workforce. Uh, and this um, assignment was designed 
uh, with that in mind. So to prepare our, our uh, students and our graduates uh, to be able to engage fully with CSR activities uh, in the workplace. Thanks so much, May, for that. And of course, as we know, CSR not only benefits society and the charity, but also it so benefits the company engaging with it as it builds a responsible organization, leading to increased brand awareness and recognition, leading to an overall competitive advantage for that company. So that's absolutely fantastic. So Jill, could I move on to yourself? Maeve set up the assignment identified the objective, divided students into groups at random, gave each group our contact details of a representative in the NGO or charity. How did you approach it from there? So um, following on from, from what May just said there, um, yeah, as, as team lead, I was, I was given my, my charity, this was UNICEF Ireland. Um, Rose, we were actually one of two groups that um, that 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 were assigned to um, this charity. Um, obviously, quite a big charity, quite a well-known charity. Um, so, um, uh, uh, in in terms of a process, Rose, um, my my first my first thought was to establish contact. Okay, establish contact and and do some research. So, you know, be okay with 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 the charity with with. Um, with the morals, with the values of that charity, know, know, know who I was representing. And also at the same time, contact the other team lead, contact my own group and contact um, uh, the, the, the NGO who I would be liaising with throughout the project. Um, so, you know, the next thing, the next thing we did, I suppose, was we brainstormed. Um, I, I, I thought it was very important that we all had our homework done. Our event was, was a coffee slash networking morning. I wanted to do something unique. And once we had the go ahead from UNICEF, um, you know, with, with a creative idea, then we knew we could go further in our process. But Rose, you know, there is, there is absolutely great guidance in, in, in the entire department. That's, that sounds great. And I love the way, Jill, that um, you're actually using the word and term process um, quite a bit um, throughout your answer there. And that is something that we have explored in our developmental module in year one, BU 1000, um, the essence and the importance of process in engaging with research. So it was Absolutely. lovely to see it coming through there into the second year modules as well. So Claire, um, what was it like working with our BCom students on this task? It was great. So I have to say I'm working with a lot of students because it's something that we do a lot at UNICEF. We try to engage all the different age groups. Um, but the BCom students were fantastic. They were very professional. Gillian and her team, they were up to date. They were in constant communication. We started to talk very ahead of the project. They were flexible, like with a very good um, can-do attitude. And it was fantastic because UNICEF, as you said, it's such a big brand that we have to protect this brand. We're part of the UN. And I think the team of the BCom students were the best to represent the brands. Well, thank you so much for that, Claire. That's a high recommendation indeed. Laura, could I move on to yourself? Laura is a past BCom graduate of ours. Um, she is currently a HR generalist with WiseTech and a great friend and mentor to our BCom program. So we're delighted to have Laura with us today. Laura, from an employer's perspective, what do you think of our developmental core where contemporary business issues are explored, analyzed and practiced? Hi Rose, um, thanks so much for having me here today and um, I'm delighted to, to be on the call and it's great to hear more about this module and it sounds like an amazing blend of theory and practice. So this, this um, idea was obviously in place when I was a, in the commerce program but um, it's, it sounds like it's, it's stayed so up to date um, it's so practical and so contemporary. Um, 
in relation to the project um, CSR, I think it's so impressive to employers today. Um, during interview, I always ask if you've been involved in a in a project and and to tell me more about the project. So I think for for anyone graduating from commerce or thinking about doing commerce and coming to an interview, this would be such an amazing project to to tell an employer about. Um, the specific example of the CSR project, it's um, CSR for companies today, it's, it's no, no longer an, a nice to have, it's really a have to have. Mm -hmm. um, we get customers coming to us now, they're deciding whether to use our services and they want to, they ask us what CSR activities are we involved in, what do we do? So. It's so great that to know that BCOM students will, will be coming to us with a knowledge of this and with practical experience in this, it's, it's great. Um, so when we see BCOM on someone's CV, we, we know they have this practical experience. They, they haven't just learned the theory, they've applied it. And working through part of a team is so valuable as well. It was great to hear Jill's experience of the project and I like to hear she would, that she and her team were left to their own devices because I think when students enter the working world, um, it's no longer they're being told exactly what to do. They have to use their initiative, critical thinking, and it sounds like they did this on this project. So um, excellent, amazing to hear. Well done. Thank you so much, Laura. Maeve, um, back to yourself. How was this assignment actually assessed? So this element of the module uh, was uh, assessed uh, uh, along with the other elements in, in line with the module uh, learning objectives. Um, so there were, there, were, there were three parts actually to the assessment on, on, this, um, on this particular assignment. So uh, the first part was that each group had to um, prepare a, a poster um, and to the intention was to pre present that at a social enterprise showcase, uh, which we had planned for mid March, um, to which we had invited um, all of the NGOs, um, uh, obviously the the um, all of the the great and the good of UCC uh, and the great and the good of, of the wider Cork community. Unfortunately, uh, that had to be cancelled due to COVID. Uh, so um, in, in actual fact, each group presented in their class to their peers and to the module assessors um, a poster um, just outlining what they did, um, how they raised the awareness for the charity, um, some of the key learnings. The students as a group had to submit a final report detailing the process, uh, the results in terms of um, the, the social awareness in terms of the funds raised, the rationale of the decisions that were taken because there were a number of project uh, management elements to, to this project, risk assessments for example. Um, and so in, 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 a, in addition to that group element there was each student had to provide an individual reflection and learning statement um, reflecting on the activity um, reflecting on the team involvement and the leadership contribution. Fantastic, May. Thanks so much. And of course, this ensures that our academic standards are adhered to, as well as meeting employability requirements. So, Jill, one listening to this might be wondering what benefits a project like this bring to the programme as a whole? Um, what would be your views on this? This project helped with 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 my with my teamwork skills, I suppose. Um, you know, I've had certain modules before um, where 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 we're um, working in a team, and obviously, Rose, good communication skills are so important. Um, your time management, um, fair distribution of workloads. Um, you know, meeting meeting deadlines. So, as as Maeve mentioned, how how we had um, monthly progress reports that we had to meet. Um, so, you know, um, within our own set set timeline and and that of the college as well. That that was certainly that was certainly a vital skill to take from that. Um, and you know, I suppose the whole 
presentation skills, which 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 are important in in, in most modules. Um, having ha having worked on an assignment and then doing an elevator pitch um, on on your work to um, a room full of people, um, and by God, having researched about UNICEF, um, knowing, knowing, um, you know, practicing risk management um, and being aware of, of the do's and the don'ts of both the college and, and, the, and the charity. Um, I suppose that helped in your academic research um, itself. So, you know, in, 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 um, in a research-based project, yes, that's all important. It's just, I suppose, we were so, so lucky, Rose, with this project that, we we kind of got to practice it in the real world as well you know we 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 got to contact people in 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 the actual real world um work environment which was great it wasn't that we were sat in a library and 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 researching we learned so much more um from this project which also contributed to our academic research that's fantastic thanks so much jill and it's great to see that you're enjoying the program so much, Jill, um, because Jill and I would have had a few chats around this time two years ago, I think, That's when you That's were um, trying to decide between going for a broad-based business program with a specialization or something more specialized. And I think it was around this time two years ago, just before the CAO change of mind. Um, yeah deadline and of course we're delighted to have you on board with us Jill. Well, delighted to be doing the program Rose. It's it's honestly it's it's honestly such a broad, interesting, current and engaging course. And and not only that, Rose, but it's practical. No other yes. no other course no other course has has done a project like this, you know, um yes. You know, it, it, the amount of people who who kind of remark in an interview or or just in general that we've been we've been out doing doing a project like that for one of our college modules is is so interesting. You know, it's it's like no other. The VCOM is one of a kind, and I'm I'm honestly I'm so 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 very glad that I that I selected this course. I really, really enjoy it. Well, that is great to hear, Jill. And as I said, we're delighted to have you as part of our team. Claire, could I ask you, um, over, I think, about 2,000 euro was raised for UNICEF and about 36,000 um, as a whole by the class for different good causes. Do you think other business programmes should follow our lead and incorporate projects like this into their curriculum? Yes, Rose, absolutely. Because I think, you know, we see more and more that corporations, they want to invest and they want to work hand by hand by charities. I was just in a call earlier um, with a corporation who wanted to be like more involved with UNICEF. So that's, that's a big thing. And I think when you do that for the students, they train and they practice to see charities as part of the business as well. Mm -hmm. So absolutely, I think it should be like part of every program. And I'm happy that, um, that the BCOM students have this amazing opportunity. Thank you so much, Claire, for engaging with us on this project. We really do appreciate all your efforts. I think what we've learned today is that the BCOM programme, CK201, has a long tradition of leading business education in Ireland. It is renowned for blending theory and practice, for encouraging and maintaining employer input into modules, and for incorporating contemporary business issues into program content. Today, we focused on CSR. However, that is just one of the many current business topics that are explored, analyzed, and practiced in our program. This allows us to produce graduates who are professional, critical thinkers, and who have the vision and ability to change the future of the business environment. I would like to thank everyone for partaking today, Maeve, Jill, Claire, and Laura. And if anyone out there has any queries, as always, please drop us a line to the email address coming up on screen, bcomdirector at ucc.ie, and we will get straight back to you. Best of luck and enjoy the summer. 
and I hope to see a lot of you all again in September.